Welcome to a new school year. I'm Mrs. Larson. I'm Ms. Hackett. Bienvenidos, soy la maestra Muro. I'm Mrs. Inocencio. I'm Ms. Choi. Hola, yo soy Señora Flores. And I'm Mrs. Delos Reyes. We are the second and third grade teacher for this school year. We're going to show you guys how to play basketball. Okay, okay and two. All right. So make sure you have a basketball. Basketballs are usually orange. This doesn't quite look orange, but it's not a kickball. This is a basketball. And it's the only thing we use on the court. And there's three people per team. Um, so one, two, pass to be on a team. And then one, two. We need no. one more. We want to play basketball. I want to play. Can I join? Yes. Join us. Absolutely. Square. So if you notice, the four square courts are back here in the back of the school near the wall ball courts. There are four squares in each of the green grids. And then if you see Mrs. Inocencio, Ms. Hackett, and Mrs. Larson are all waiting on a corner until they turn it up. So one person starts, you guys can rock, paper, scissors to decide who, or if somebody starts. And what you want to do is you want to touch the ball just once and not let it hit any lines. If you hit a line, you just go back to the end of the line and the next person will take it. No, three, no, uh, spinny, it's hard, it's just a pass. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, I missed it. So I'm out, so I give the ball to Mrs. Muro. I go back in line. And then These this. shoes are not appropriate for playing PE or playing at recess. Talk with your partner, please. I think Mrs. Larson should not wear flip-flops to school. And I think Mrs. Inocencio, although cute, should not wear her sandals. Show her her feet. And I think you should definitely wear shoes because then you can get hurt. So our toes need to be nice and closed. Oh, here's the way. But those are good. These are the shoes that you should wear for PE. Or recess. Or school. <laughs> okay, so here we have kids playing wall ball. And we have the next person in line who is Mrs. Muro. She was the judge. When the judge tells you that you are out, you are out. You do not argue. The ball needs to stay within the wall ball court and here at Camarena it needs to bounce in the black top area not the rubble area that you see near the wall hey this is hopscotch you notice there's one two three four you can relay raise you can have your friends um, line up um, when you start playing it's very basic. Jumping, one foot, one, two, one, two, one, and you get to the end, and you go back, and you get in line. And only one person at a time. You want to raise? That's right. Just put it on. Okay. You ready? Go, Mrs. Stutters. Ready, set, go. soccer at Camarena, but we want to remind you to be mindful about how you play soccer here. The purpose of playing soccer at recess is not club soccer, it's not competitive, it's for fun. And it's most important that you're careful with your classmates and you include everybody that wants to play. What else is important about soccer? You just give everybody a chance. There might be somebody that maybe they haven't played before and it's kind of hard for them. But if you have played before, maybe you can give them a chance and show them a few things that you know so they can learn and become better. And I do like playing on our soccer team here, but you don't have to play on the soccer team um, in order to play at recess. We should let everybody play at recess. 
Um, but if there's a game going on, you don't just run up into the game and steal their ball. You really do have to be a part of the team. And one of the things to remember is to still use your words when we are playing soccer and be very cautious and careful of the people around you because you are going to be kicking the ball, you are going to be running. Be careful of your surrounding that you don't run into each other or that you don't side, um, what is it called? Side, side tackle. tackle. Oh, side if tackle. you're not doing that, again, this is for fun. It's not, it's not competitive. It's recess. We're out here to have fun. And to be safe. And be nice to each other. And be nice to each other. So here's a demonstration of some friendly soccer games. Okay, this is the play structure, and when your teacher is on duty, you can play with the, be on the play structure. For um, when you're on the play structure, um, walk on it, do not run and there's definitely no playing tag on the structure. Um, when, when you're going down the slide, one person is going to go down the slide at a time. Make sure you're sitting on your bottom and make sure that person has gotten off the slide before the next person goes. Don't walk up the slide, always going down. And if you're using the ladders or the arch, then make sure that you're starting at the bottom and walking up. And be careful of who else is on it. At the end of recess, when the whistle is blown, make sure you walk down the steps and come to the foam and squat down to your direction. Voices should be up. Enjoy the play structure. The drinking fountain. This is where you come to get a drink of water when you're super hot. When you go to the drinking fountains, you walk up and you line up behind the person that is already there. Leave space. Don't touch them or push them and wait your turn. The person who's drinking shouldn't take all day long. Get a quick drink and move on. These are the bathrooms. When you need to use the restroom at recess, girls are on the side by the library, boys are on the side by the lunch tables. The bathrooms are not a place to play. Make sure you go in and do your business, flush the toilet, wash your hands, and go straight back to the playground. Remember, bathroom use is quick. Don't socialize. If you notice on the playground, there are white areas, blacktop areas, and grass areas. You must always walk on white. When you get to the grass area, you may feel free to run, play tag, soccer, or other fun sports. when you're running the track or walking the track to go all the way around. Don't cut under the gazebo. Stay on the track. This is the only part of the playground that you can run on white. Just the small section by the table. During recess, when you hear the duties blow the whistle, you're going to freeze, squat down, Turn your voices off so you can hear directions. Um, you're going to keep your hands off equipment and then you're going to walk, uh, equipment's going to be walked in. Children with equipment, if you have a ball or a jump rope, walk it into the basket. And then the, and then the duty will go ahead and instruct everybody else to walk to their line. Make sure you're walking and not running. Boys and girls, go ahead and stand up and walk to your line. Nice walking, Mrs. Sandoval, Mrs. Barrett. I love the way you're keeping your hands to yourself, Mrs. Lipstone. Oh, and look at that. They sat down when they got to their line in line order, and they're ready for their teacher. Good job, class. Featherball. Featherball can be lots of fun only if you follow the rules. And playing featherball, make sure you hit the ball. Do not get the rope to swing the ball. It can be very dangerous. Make sure to hit the ball to one side. Stay on your side of the circle. The person who wraps the rope around the pole first wins. The person in line is yes. And hits the ball first. Okay, so you're going, yeah, you're going that way. Have fun. 
Entonces, voleibol. Hagan dos equipos. Escojan a una persona para que pueda empezar el juego. Jueguen en equipo y pasa la pelota a los demás. Pueden botar la pelota para pegarle y pasarla sobre la red. Recuerden de no patear la pelota y sobre todo de divertirse. This is volleyball. Make two teams. Choose the person in one team to throw the ball. Make sure you work as a team and pass the volleyball. You can also bounce the ball before hitting it over the net. Remember to not kick the ball and to, and to have fun. Wanna, do you want to jump rope with me? Sure, sounds like fun. Okay. Um, you want to do helicopter? Helicopter? We can't play helicopter with the jump rope. That's not safe. You need to have a lot of space. Oh. So really, we need to move. We can't be in the basketball court because we have boys and girls playing basketball. So we can't we, we can't play in the soccer field because we have boys and girls playing in the soccer field. So why don't we go here around the circle area? Do you guys want to jump with us? Yes! 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 Oh, it's kind of messy. Wait, wait, stop. That, that was mine. I had it first. Ah, no, it's mine. Oh, wait, we shouldn't fight. I'm going to let you have this one. Thank you. I'll take the pink one. But we better put these away nice and neat so we don't have that problem again. You're really smart, Mrs. Thank you. Now remember, you need to have enough space for you to jump and we don't hit anybody. Even though Mrs. Delacarius and I are really good friends, we can't be this close because I don't want to hit her. So make sure I... that you have enough space when you are jumping and we're not going to Run, we can stay in one spot. What else can we do? So we are not going to play helicopter. Okay.